This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. It's your girl, Leanne, a.k.a. Lola. Laugh off and love always. I'm your goddess guide to deep inner wisdom and deep soul transformation. That is the Buddha and the butterfly. That's the Anma and the reading, and that is the Holy Spirit and magic. And welcome to Anma Beauty Tarot. And let's get directly into the reading. I'll start with your mantra from my book, The Glow Up, 28 Days to Self Love Using Meditation Mantra, Prayers, Invocation, and Practical Magic for the Skin Within. And your mantra for this week is Beauty Inside and Out. Beauty Inside and Out. Pisces, Beauty Inside and Out. And we'll get right into the reading. Let me shuffle these cards for you. Spirit, hi Holy Spirit, we ask that you give Pisces the card that they need for this reading, so they might have a clear and concise reading. Those two. So we have a clear and concise reading. For Pisces, Sun Moon Rising. Those two. Anything that mm, is a nice one right there. Anything that Pisces needs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll stop there. Ten, eleven. We've got eleven. So we've got an extra double read for the last two. Oh, we got a triple. So. Uh, See, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna keep these for clarity. Keep these two for clarity. Let's put that out. Let's see what this weight against to say to me. Pisces, there's some, there's some love things going on for you, Pisces, on the board. Okay, so this is totally a relationship reading. I hate to say it, but it is. <laughs> it is. Um, and the only reason why, and I'll tell, I'll get into the reason why for in a minute. We'll get into that. But it's not the worst news. It's good news, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. We'll see how it shakes out. It's good news all the way around. The, the reading is really good news. Maybe there's one card that we could talk about, but we'll see what that means when we get into the reading. We're going to start in the passing position, three of cups. Three of cups in the passing position. Camaraderie. I like the this is the, in the passing position. Camaraderie and partnership, like, and finding your tribe. The three of cups is like community, friendship groups. It's finding the people that you actually get along with. So in the past, you finally found... A place where you fit and you belong Pisces and that's wonderful because you needed that in your life to have some balance to have some um, just support you needed that in your life for support for people to just accept you the way you are so that's what three of cups is coming forward to say accept as way as the way that you are now you have the ace of swords as the basis of the situation ace of swords and this is like mental strength this is like um, being honest and clearly thinking this is like also thinking clearly, having honesty, and like breakthroughs. So this is like the mental clarity card, okay? So the hands of God are offering you the ability to have mental clarity, to see deeply into the mind, to see deeply into the mental capacity, and to have the, and the mental capacity and the mental strength to actually move forward. The devil card is crossing your mental capacity. The devil is crossing your mental capacity and the devil for me it represents being caught in bondage or in lack of thoughts okay being caught see here's a little guy with the puppet being caught in these lack mentality lack thought because the devil represents an energy that is holding you in hostage it could also mean addiction so you could be held hostage by addiction which could affect your relationships or if you're 
you could overcome it could fix your relationship so um, i want to just say that as i'm looking at the cards yeah this is definitely and i say this is relationship because we have two of cups and we have the lovers on the board so i'll just get to where they're at in a moment but like the devil is like releasing yourself from bondage or addiction okay that's pretty interesting because it's like right That's deep. Yeah. Now, in your conscious mind, you are definitely celebrating a victory in your conscious mind. So your mind is on the right on the right track to actually moving forward in a positive light. Okay, because this is your mind. Your mind is the victory card. It's the six of, of uh, wands. You you are winning. You are a star in your mind. Uh, and in your subconscious mind, you have the wheel. Okay. So it's like you've taken the shot subconsciously in this like energy that's running in the subconscious. You've taken the shot. You you know, there's destiny is coming into play for you here. There's a turning point. There's an awakening for you. So you took the shot and you you have uh, the wheel of fortune. And you are balanced to tap that wheel of fortune. And this is the subconscious programming that's working in. You know, but the energy of the first card of the future is the lovers. Is the lovers. And so it's like... Hmm. then relationships and love come into play and the energy of the first card in the future so you must be bringing in the release of bondage and coming into the new energy of the first card in the future which is this lovers card which is relationships love harmony and union so coming into union you could be coming into union with yourself but because the two of the cups is on the board i'm going to say coming into union with someone else so I don't know. That's it's like pretty interesting. Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Because it's two of cups is on the board. And three of cups is on the board. So we'll say that that's, you know, because that's the, the camaraderie card, the group card, the tribe card. So, and then the lovers. Uh, first card of the future, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Let me check. And... This Ace of Cups energy lets me know that you have the, God has given you the emotional strength and new relationships. First card of the future. Two of Wands, outside sources. This is um, planning, so don't over plan, but somebody could be having a plan about you, making plans about you, okay? Don't, so don't over plan, and don't keep staring off into the distance, not making any plans, because that's outside sources. It could affect you. If you're not making any plans, but this is planning. And then, best case, worst fear is the Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. So more cups, more cups energy, right? Knight of Cups. This is the romantic energy. This is why I really believe this is a love reading, okay? And and this is like a love, love, love reading. So the Knight of Cups, because he's the romance guy, he's showing up. It's like romance. He's sensitive. He's like energetic. This is best case for fear. You could be the sensitive romantic or you could not be the sensitive romantic because you did not release yourself in the bondage of the devil card. And then, But then the ultimate outcome is divine partnership. Divine partnership, two of cups. So the divine partnership has come out as, a, as the outcome, the conclusion. So what I'm reading completely is that if you can remove the bondage that you have on yourself, because this is self, because this could always be you, all right? you remove the bondage then you can get to the energy of the lovers the relationship that you've been working at or you currently have or you would like will show up and then the ultimate outcome is divine partnership but you have to really rest in these ace energies the ace of cups and the ace of swords you have to rest in those two energies because these are mental strength and these are emotional strength you have to rest in those and really lean into that lean into the to two energies that you're conscious energy of victory and the subconscious energy of taking a chance lean into those and the out the two extra cards that fell out was uh strength so you have the inner strength and ability to move forward and temperance okay temperance you have the and this is literally i mean the hierophant and this is you finding a spiritual a higher spiritual path or working towards a higher spiritual awareness so that you can get what it is that you desire so you can get what you desire, okay? So you have the strength, you have the ability. Bottom of the deck. Let's see what's going on for you with that. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. 
um, this is unfulfilled, walking away. Let's make sure that you're not unfulfilled or walking away. Let's make sure that you're not um, incurring this energy, that you really are releasing yourself from this devil energy, okay? That you're releasing yourself from the devil energy and you're not just walking away from somebody who you love because of an addiction or self-bondage. Don't do that, okay? Let's get you a card from the sign of the times. What do we have? Take a chance. Take a chance. Remove yourself from the bondage and take a chance on that person that you met, on that thing that came to you, on that, that opportunity. Take a chance, okay? Your it's your job, really, Pisces, to take a chance to walk towards and not away from. I love you very much. I really do. This was a really good reading, all in all. And all in all, you just have to make sure that you're moving away from that devil energy, okay? And you can have the love of your life if you really want it. I love you, Pisces. Thank you for showing up again. My name is Leanne, aka Lola. Laugh off and love always. God has got a deep inner wisdom, deep soul transformation. That is the Holy Spirit and the magic. Welcome to Anwa Beauty Tarot. Like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you know when I'm coming back for another reading. Especially a good one like this. Oh, hummingbird. That's your, that's your totem. Just went right by the window. Thanks, Pisces. Love you.